What's up, y'all? Welcome back in the shop. I've been working on my tow truck wheel lift build again here this week, and uh, it's been a super busy week. Uh, I'm going on vacation this upcoming week, and I've been cramming trying to get a lot of stuff done because there's a lot of stuff that I won't be able to get done if I'm not here. And uh, some of the other guys will take up the slack, I'm sure, but one man down, you know how that is. But uh, I've managed to squeeze in a few things and on my lunch hour and such and uh, get a few things done on my truck. And what I've been working on is the hydraulic pump, the hydraulic uh, spool valve or uh, manifold or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've been hooking up a battery and I'm going to go through and show you all that and how I hooked it up. And uh, I got a pretty cool remote setup as well. So let's get into it here. So this is one thing I added on. I was using the old hitch, which is at the house at the moment, uh, that I had on here for the original bumper. I took it off and I welded a receiver tube in here and I uh, put on these D-rings for the hooks. And uh, this is an old uh, hitch that I had. I actually bought brand new several years ago and it was bent down really bad right here because I got in an accident and uh, if you're interested in how I got that bent straight, uh, there's a video coming up next Friday of a uh, homemade forge, uh, something I pieced together to heat that up and bend that straight. And uh, I did a sh little shoot of that and uh, that'll be coming up next Friday if you're interested in that. Uh, as far as what I've been putting on here, it's coming together and it's uh, piece by piece. I'm pretty happy with what I got going here. Uh, let me kind of slide under here and I'll show you what I got. And it might do justice to use a light here. So, hydraulic pump. It's a 12 volt one. I showed in previous videos. Uh, one of the videos was how to set the relief valve on it if you're interested in that go and check that out uh i got this valve right here which is kind of hard to see but uh, it's a six port well technically it's an eight port it's got in and out and then three options two ports per option to run three different cylinders it all runs on 12 volt it's got three solenoids on this side and three solenoids on this side and uh, that was an eBay special. Uh, I think they call it like a, it's electronic spool valve is what it is. Uh, but I think they call it like a mono block or something of that nature. I don't know the technical name for it, but uh, if it's a mechanical one, they call it a spool valve. I think they would call this like electronic spool valve or a mono block type setup. So uh, if you, we're pricing one of those or looking for one. Uh, you can look online. There's really only a couple companies that make them that I've found. And uh, this one is actually a European built one and it seems pretty solid. Uh, as of now, it's kind of hard for me to, I was gonna tear it all down, but I didn't get a chance to. You can see all the ports on the top, kind of. Uh, you got the red caps in them and all. And you can see how I got this wired here. So all of the grounds I have hooked together in a series. Uh, you can see the loops there, those are the ground wires. And the other wires all run to, there's six of them. They all run to this plug. right here six wires and those run up to this remote box here and this remote box is also an eBay special uh, made in China I don't know how good it's gonna be you see the brand name up there YDGY whatever the heck that means but uh, so far it seems like it's built pretty solid it has a rubber mounting stopper with a bolt that goes through it and uh 
it's a six way i'll show you the remote here in a second six way remote and then it has on off buttons as well so like eight options uh, this is the orange wire right here is the only one i didn't use and uh, how i wired this up uh let me go grab the remote real quick so this is the remote and as you can see there's chinese lettering on it as well as up and down south east northwest and what this is labeled as it, when you purchase one it's labeled as a crane remote that is really the only one that i could find with the options that i wanted i don't know if there's anything else out there but it was relatively cheap uh and uh like i said they call it a crane remote so if you're looking in to getting one that's what it is and uh so as soon as you push this all of these have power i don't know if you can hear the solenoid up there clicking and uh, each button clicks one of the solenoids for the six different options to run the three different cylinders a and b ports times three and uh, this button here once you if you push it off okay the whole remote's off you push it the red light lights up looks a little weird in the camera but uh push this on everything's powered if you push it again and hold it that's what powers the pump and uh, i just have it deadheaded right now so i don't want to run it too long it just maxes out the relief valve and then bypasses it but you see how that works so the way this is going to operate you push and hold then you push whichever one of these for whichever cylinder they're hooked to and it's yet to be determined how that's going to hook up uh, how the hoses are all going to go into the monoblock spool valve but uh i'm going to adjust them however i feel like it'll be most user friendly but uh power off and this remote seems pretty decent i mean it's got nice rubber bumpers on the corners seems pretty solid it's supposed to work at a 100 yard distance and from uh, trying it out it seems like it'll be pretty good but uh for wiring i'll probably do a separate video on how to wire one of these remote boxes up but uh i had quite the time finding a good wiring diagram that was understandable being as it's built in china and uh i'm gonna do a separate video on how to wire that up put that out there in case any of you are interested in trying to wire one up or using one on anything you're building uh these cables right here they go all the way up to the front of the truck and tie into the main batteries that way this battery stays charged and the reason that i put this back here was just to boost the cold cranking ants and uh, have better power for the pump and uh i think that'll work out pretty well and as you can see here i've showed this in a previous video main boom is going to go in here got the two holes for the pin and uh the bracket here that's just a piece of c channel another piece of c channel and everything's bolted up to that so uh and i've welded this in here it's kind of you can see how it's kind of under there like that so yeah it's coming along pretty well and uh i'll probably do another video of this uh when i tear it down and uh do a better wiring video of how i got this wired up but uh, i just wanted to jump on here and show you all how i was coming along and the pieces that i'm piecing together here and uh it's been fun it's it's uh been an experience for sure i've never done anything quite this technical as far as a build goes with uh, this many different components built tons of stuff out of metal but not a lot of hydraulic stuff and all that and it's it's been a, a great experience and uh, i hope you are enjoying all these different videos and segments and learning something and uh, if you appreciate this content uh, my videos anything i'm doing here uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that follow button if you're on Facebook or uh, that subscribe button if you're on YouTube and uh, turn the notifications on that way when a video pops up uh, you'll get a notification and you won't miss out on any of the stuff I'm doing here and another note I've been doing two videos per week uh, and I've skipped a couple uh, Tuesdays 
it's probably going to go down to one video per week because I've been super busy and uh, with my vacation and everything might screw up some stuff as well. But uh, I'm definitely going to keep a video coming up every Friday and uh, we're going to keep that schedule. So uh, I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned. Until next time.